Kia ora. In this short video, we're going to look at how to add tags and genres uh, to artists and releases and recordings on Music Brains. So I'm on musicbrains.org and I am registered and logged in. Uh, and the things that I want to add tags to already exist. So we've got the uh, this group, The Art of Cheese, with their release, Best Pants. Um, I'm going to add. Let's add a genre first. It's all really straightforward. Uh, on the right here, we've got our tag field. And now I know that uh, he plays uh, swing and funk. Swing, there you go. That's already popped it down with the suggested tag. So we'll put it in swing. I'm also going to put in funk. Click on tag. Now, because these are uh, pre, they're in the, uh, we call it the gen genre whitelist. Funk and swings come up under genres. Now, if I put in something else, um, uh, like favorite, it's going to go under other tags. So these are user tags. Um, now, favorite, I'd say, isn't that useful. It's better to add it to a collection or some other way of having your own personal thing. But to be honest, uh, other tags is a wild west. Genres, we want to be a little bit careful, double check, we've got it right. Uh, other tags, you know, um, there's a few useful ones, but really you can put all kinds of personal stuff in there. Uh, notes to yourself. I use uh, tags with underscore, for instance, um, as temporary notes. Um, but, but they all function the same. You know, we can click on favorite here. There we go, someone's added Daft Punk favorite. We've only got two. Um, and what we can do also, actually, let's do it now. Duff. Uh, we can vote on other people's tags. So here we've got favorite. I'm going to downvote that. That's still going to be in that user's tag list. Um, they will still have it when they go to uh, the data, my tags. They will still see favorite, but it's not going to show in the public uh, um, view. And also, it's not going to get pulled into tagging software. So uh, here we can vote. So I'm going to add a plus one to electronics. Yep. So let's get back to uh, so let's refresh this. Yep. It's just the art of cheese because I downvoted that other one. Go back here. So we've got a funk, swing, and favorite, which I'm again, I'm going to remove. And yeah, if we look at these official tags, we have much more. 963 artists. 17,000 release groups, 18,000 recordings, and so on. Now, the other thing to note, I mean, we're basically done. That's the, <laughs> it's, it's not too tricky to tag genres, um, but if you want to stick around, let's go a little bit deeper because what we've done here is we've added genres, funk, and swing to the artist. Uh, but we can also go here to the release group, add tags here, funk, swing, and then we can also go into the release itself, add funk and swing. Go into the recordings or into the into the songs. Also tag funk swing. Now something important to note is that an artist might be electronic, but they might put out a song that's country. Um, so if this song was country, we might tag that with country. See here, it's on um, this release, Best Pants. But this, you know, if this is a 10 track album, it's all uh, funk and swing, just one country track, might still be relevant to just have funk and swing how we, uh, how we um, tag this whole release. Uh, the other thing is, if you're not, if you're not getting that, just removing these tags because, um, Oh, it's, no, it's correct here. I'll leave it. Now, if we don't tag it at this level, usually the tagger will just pull it from the top. So if you haven't tagged the release, it will pull the tags from the artist. So kind of in that order, artist, release, group, release. So you don't need to worry. Once again, we're just getting into the details. Um, it usually is enough to tag the artist. Um, but, you know, if you're browsing a lot by recording or you tag your recording, Recording specifically, um, then often you want to go into those deeper levels, uh, tag everywhere. But yep, generally speaking, um, put put your genres everywhere. 